practical jokes that we've done recently. Well, not we. I'm not going to incriminate anybody, but somebody, Jim Herbrowski, our vice president, came into work one morning. Well, I got a call that his lights were out in his office. Here, his lights did not work in the office. Someone unscrewed every light bulb in his office. Well, there was a mannequin sitting at his desk chair with a ball hat on. He thought someone was actually sitting at his desk. I uh, do a game day at the end of my uh, general psych classes and basically the students have to uh, make a game and they have to, we have stations and all the students go around and play each other's games and it was when Linden Point was brand new, pristine building and I had this group of students who, they do like carnival games sometimes which is fine and they have darts and balloons as long as they put it somewhere they're not going to hurt anything. He called the president, he called all of us. So we had to go to the office, well they were trying to find out what happened, who did it, and so I had to fix the lights and so forth, but it was hilarious. Jim swore he walked by, looked in the window, and saw a person sitting at his desk, and it was a mannequin, and all the light, he couldn't flip the lights on, and he was yelling at him, hey, hey, hey you! <laughs> I had this group of students, it was guys, and they decided to fill the balloons with whipped cream. I have no idea why, and we didn't know it. So the first girl goes up, she answers her question, she gets it right, they give her a dart to hit the balloon, it explodes and liquid whipped cream goes everywhere. And it was a brand new building. And I had to go tell John Susser, I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. He was really nice about it, but the students were so, and I said to them, what were you thinking? They're like, we thought it'd make it more fun. You know, they were, it was general psych, they were like 18, I don't know. <laughs> I tell every semester I tell students that story so they don't do things like that. Probably one of, the, one of the funniest memories that I can remember, and this happened many, many years ago, the Student Service Division was going to do a team building experience and it was going to be an overnight trip on a trail down towards Seven Springs. We were going to stay in tents and whatnot and probably people that know me know that when I rough it it's probably maybe days in and Hampton in that's roughing it more than going out in the woods and I remember the individuals uh, Boyd Brewer, Dick Roberts and Chuck Dunaway they had organized this event we took a I don't know five six mile hiking trip. But one of the funniest memories and and I did this when I was younger I don't know if I did when I was older we had a game in Niagara Falls in the middle of January and it was Niagara County Community College and there must have been a foot of snow here and we were told there were two feet of snow in, in Niagara. And again, we had a game. And the game must be played. And Mr. Dunaway says, Dick, I'm not going. And I recommend you don't go. And Billy Miller, my assistant, my loyal assistant, says, Dick, I rec I'm not going. And I recommend you don't go. And, I looked, and, and Chuck says, you can't go with one adult. And our scorekeeper, Walter J. Fitzpatrick, I said, Walter, are you with me? And he goes, I'm with you. And I says, we're going. The funny part of it, I didn't know what to bring, what to wear. And I knew it was in May. It was going to be a cold night. I stayed in a tent with Bill O'Brien and Rich Lochner. And what threw me off was Bill O'Brien probably had four sweatshirts on. And Rich Lochner took off his shirt. And that's how they slept. And I was in between, and I didn't know if I should put sweatshirts or. And so that would probably be the funniest thing. We talk about that for many years. And uh, to this day, I still have not gone any other camping trips. That's, that was all. And we went up there, and, um, and I'm telling you what, I, 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 we're, I would never do that again. That was dangerous. We went up and won that game. I remember how Kenneman hit 26 out of 27 foul shots in that game. I switched the shooter because the scorekeeper couldn't speak English, and that's illegal, but I don't care. All right. I, the next day I came home and Billy Packer was ripping on guys that switched the shooter. I don't care what Billy Packer says. All right. But that was, um, that was a wild day when those two guys said they weren't going, and I looked at Fitzy, and Fitzy, Fitzy would have said no. We're not going. But Fitzy says, let's go. And out we went. And, uh, but I don't think I'd do that today at age 59. I was a younger buck then.